back in June, we released the first preview of Visual Studio 2022. And it was a historic release because for the first time, Visual Studio now ran in 64-bit. But that was not the only thing that was new in the first preview. We made updates to the AI engine inside Visual Studio that was now able to predict the next line of code you were about to write before you even knew it. It's something that just feels like magic. There was also great tooling support for the MAUI UI framework that makes it possible to write cross-platform UI applications. But now we just released the second preview of Visual Studio 2022. So let's take a look at what's inside. Let's start with the new .NET and C++ hot reload feature that lets you update your running application by making code changes and applying them straight to your running app with no need to pause. Notice the new apply code changes button in the toolbar up top. Here I got a couple of bugs in my calculator app, so let's go and fix them. The first bug is that the operator keys aren't reacting when I click them. It's because this code line is calling toString when it should give a name. So let's go ahead and fix that right away and apply the changes. And now the multiply button will actually do what it's supposed to. The next bug is a missing feature, which is the equals button that hasn't yet been implemented. So let's scroll up to find the code and implement the missing feature. I'm gonna paste that right in. And then let's click the apply code changes button again. And now when testing the running app, it shows that everything is working. For the SAML developers, you're gonna love this new live preview feature. With live preview, you can take your application and bring it right inside Visual Studio. But first, you'll have to enable it. The app now shows up next to your SAML files. But you now have more features such as deep zooming into specific areas to make changes. You can also add rulers to make it easy to see how your changes are affecting the UI visually. And you can use element selection to find the controls that you want to change. Here, I'm going to change the height of this image to better align it with the rest of the UI until I get it just right. As you can see, these type of adjustments are just much easier to do with SAML Live Preview. When you click the Design or Split buttons on an ASPX page, you get a live preview of your page. You can drag a new control from the toolbox and configure it with familiar action panel commands. You get an instant preview of the new content, and you can refresh the page to see live data. With live data in place, you continue seeing instant previews of changes to the control in the source file and through Control Designer UI. With Web Live Preview, you can select parts of your page, edit it directly in the browser, and see instant previews of edits in your source file as you type. Visual Studio 2022 makes building web UI with Blazor fast and productive. Quickly see the results of your code and UI changes with .NET Hot Reload and see style changes in CSS files get automatically applied. Use go to definition to go directly to your component code. And create new components from unknown tags. You can now reliably format razor code and markup and use C-sharp code actions in your Razor files, like adding missing using directives, and finally, easily refactor your Razor component code to a code behind file. Preview 2 introduces a native WSL2 toolset for C++ development, which allows you to build and debug C++ code on WSL2 from Visual Studio without ever adding an SSH connection. In this demo, 
we're using a CMake project, which is our recommendation for C++ cross-platform development. When targeting WSL2, Visual Studio automatically executes a local rsync copy to copy source files from the Windows file system to the WSL2 file system. Builds are invoked from the Linux file system to leverage WSL2's improved file system performance, and you can debug using the front end of the Visual Studio debugger backed by GDB. So as you can see, there's a lot to be excited about in this second preview of Visual Studio 2022. So go ahead, download it, install it, play around with it, try it out, test it, and let us know what you think. Enjoy.